Supernovas are fairly commonly heard of. Similar celestial objects are the hypernova and the kilonova. And it is quite easy to not just confuse one for the other, but also to understand their superlative intensities. Let me break it down for you. We will discuss each of these celestial bodies in the order of their brightness and energy. Nova, kilonova, supernova, and hypernova. In Latin, nova means new. In astronomy, that refers to a temporary bright star in the night sky. But the causes of these brief but brilliant stars are varied. Classical novas occur in a binary star system with a white dwarf and a star close enough together that the white dwarf pulls or accretes material from its companion. This material, which is mostly hydrogen, sits on the surface of the white dwarf until enough has been gathered to kickstart a nuclear fusion reaction, the same process that powers the sun. As the hydrogen is converted into heavier elements, the temperature increases, which in turn increases the rate of hydrogen burning. At this point, the white dwarf experiences a runaway thermonuclear reaction, ejecting the unburned hydrogen which releases 10,000 to 100,000 times the energy that our sun emits in just a year. Because the white dwarf remains intact after blowing away the success, a stellar system can experience multiple classical novas. Kilonovas, on the other hand, occur when two compact objects like binary neutron stars or a neutron star and a black hole collide. These mergers, as their name suggests, are about 1000 times brighter than a classical nova, but not as bright as a supernova, which is 10 to 100 times brighter than a kilonova. There are two basic ways in which a supernova is born. The type of supernova that most people think of is a dying star's last hurrah, known as a type 2 or a core collapse supernova. At the end of a massive star's life, it no longer has the energy to support itself against gravity and collapses, the core squeezing itself into as tight a ball as possible. The implosion reverberates outward, exploding the leftover material into space. In this case, a new stellar remnant, which is either a neutron star or a black hole, is born. The other type of supernova, a type 1a supernova, occurs when a white dwarf in a binary star system gobbles up too much material from its companion. Unlike with the classical nova, this white dwarf experiences a thermonuclear reaction in its core. Once it crosses a critical mass threshold, it collapses and violently expels its outer layer, tearing itself apart. In this scenario, the white dwarf is typically obliterated. A hypernova, sometimes called a collapsar, is a particularly energetic core collapse supernova. Scientists think that a hypernova occurs when stars more than 30 times the mass of the sun quickly collapse into a black hole. The resulting explosion is 10 to 100 times more powerful than a supernova. To sum up, let us look at these three celestial objects on a scale taking brightness as a measure, starting with the nova, which is bright, a star showing a sudden increase in brightness, which slowly returns to its original state over a few months. A little brighter than that, we have kilonovas, which is an explosion like the recent collision of two heavy stars, like neutron stars, with luminosity equivalent to a thousand novas. Even brighter yet is the supernova, which is the explosion of a star in which the star may reach a maximum intrinsic luminosity, which is one billion times that of the sun. The brightest known yet in the universe is the hypernova, also called a superluminous supernova, which is one of the most catastrophic events in the universe, with luminosity up to a hundred times brighter than the standard supernova. Gamma ray bursts released when a supermassive star goes supernova can release more energy in 10 seconds than the sun will release in its 10 billion year lifetime. To put it even further into perspective, quasars are the active galactic nuclei in early galaxies and they are the brightest long-lasting objects known. Whereas the peak luminosity of a supernova lasts only seconds 
to months. You can check out our video on quasars and the mysterious double quasar for more information on this particular phenomenon. If you found this video helpful, leave a like and let us know in the comments what more of space you would like to know about. Do check out our individual videos on hypernovas, kilonovas and supernovas so that you can know as much as possible. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel too to support our work and stay up to date on all things space. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.